Hello there, good morning, welcome to my next review. Uh, today we're, good, we're doing hot and spicy chicken wings. Uh, that's been asked to, me to do by Shannon Whitaker and Phil Milner. But before we start, we do have a disclaimer alert. Okay. This review holds no, none, absolutely no responsibility whatsoever if your child, children, watches these reviews. May contain sexual and offensive language for snowflakes only. Okay. Right. Now, this is what I've been asked to review. Okay. From Iceland, three pound hot and spicy chicken wings. Okay. Right. So these are them here. Okay, I've got three. No, I'm not picking the same one up twice or three times. So just to prove I've got three, there you go, I've got three. Okay. But as per normal, we're not going to do that one first. Got an empty glass. And I've come across a new drink. Fancy grape. Now I like Fanta, especially the red one. I um, can't remember what flavour it is, but the red one is absolutely banging. It really is good. So let's see what Fanta grape is like. I don't expect it to taste like wine. Why should I? Hmm. I don't expect it to do that. Oh shit. Well that wasn't meant to happen. Right, overspilled Fanta grape. Oh. It's all right. I won't, I, won't, I won't rush out and buy it again. I expect him more from that. Fancy do some really good drinks. Um, zero added sugar. Um, don't even taste like grape. I don't know what to say about that. It's shit. Oh, well, that, well, that was a, that was a disappointment. Oh well, it happens, doesn't it? You can get something, it looks fantastic. I think, oh, I fancy that, I lost some of that. Uh, but, um, no, it's not brilliant. Don't even taste, it didn't even taste fizzy. Uh, although you got all that fizz out of it because it, over, it overspilled. Mm. Look at that. Right. You'd think that was fizzy as hell. But nothing. It's not very fizzy at all. It's like um, when you've opened a bottle of fizzy pop and you left the top open for three or four days, it's gone flat. That's what that's like. It's like flat pop. Oh well, right. Shit happens. Right, I got chatting to um, one of my colleagues the other day, Sharon Whitaker. She told me a little, well, I told her what my next review would be. And she seemed really impressed by that. Um, and she let me into a, I won't call it a secret, but uh, my next review is going to be between frozen Yorkshire pudding and a homemade Yorkshire pudding. Now, my Yorkshire puddings, they're like that, well, no, they're not like that, but you know what I mean. 
they do rise and they rise really well it's because I found the perfect recipe um, and she told me that um, as much as Phil tries to make Yorkshire your puddings he can't do it they just don't rise so Phil my next review I'm going to show you how to make the perfect Yorkshire pudding okay and uh, in fact I've got some frozen ones in here there you go that's how big they are look at them absolutely massive okay Because what I do is that when I make my Yorkshire puddings, I don't make enough for the sun Sunday dinner. I'll make about 20. And I freeze them. So I don't have to continue making them every time we have a sun... A sun well, when we can have a Sunday dinner. So um, I'll show you. I'll go step by step. So we'll call it making Yorkshire puddings for dummies. Okay? E easy as that. Anyway, getting back on to this. Hot and spicy chicken wings. Okay. From Iceland, £3 a pack. Juicy. Falls off the bone. Nice crispy coating. Very nice crispy coating. But not very spicy. There's some heat there, but it's heat that I can take. Not very spicy at all, actually. A bit disappointed with these. I'll tell you what that means. Right. Just bear with me. Just bear with me a minute. Habanero, hot and spicy sauce, hot, pep hot pepper sauce, right? It says it's hot down there. Okay, so we're just going to pour a little bit down there. Okay. 
All right. There we go. Yeah, okay. Hmm. That might have been a bad idea. So, I'm going to coat it in this. Because they're not that hot by themselves. It needs a bit of a kick. There we go. Okay. Oh, yes. That's better. Oh, not a banging. Oh, God. Bear with me, sorry about this. Dog what wants to go out. Oh. So. Do you know when you buy something that has these warnings? Right. And that's something really fucking obvious. Right? Warning. Chiller is an is an irritant. Avoid contact with eyes. Please wash your hands thoroughly after using chili. Who in the right mind is going to chop up loads of chilies, right? Oh, I've got an itch in my eye. Ouch, 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 ouch. Come on, really? That's just stupid. So, it's got two, four, say one, two, three, four, six chili warnings or six chilies. I Meaning it's quite hot. And it is hot because it's really burning me now. That is really nice. Let's see what sort of chilli is in this. Oh, the Holobiero chilli. Okay. That is really nice, but you need... The chicken's alright. Alright. But it needs some extra. And that... Gives it the punch it needs. That is really nice. Um, where did I get it from? I think my wife bought me a set of, um, or someone bought me, I'm sure it was my wife, bought me a, um, some cooking sauces. Bottles like, like these and you got about four four to five and you had like uh, some contain um uh, fruity some were spicy some some like that were hot i used to put it in um curries and stuff like this this is only one i've got left now and um yeah you always say that you save the best to last that is really really nice um going back to the uh the live review it's going on facebook live not youtube live the reason why because you need a minimum of a thousand subscribers i just don't have that okay um I, i'm <laughs> i'm only just into bloody double figures so it's going to go Facebook Live. It's going to go Facebook Live, and, it's, and the settings on my profile will go. It'll be set to public, so we can reach to a wider audience. Now, <coughs> as you know, um, 
we're doing vodka reviews, vodka mixes. Uh, it's going to get messy. It's going to be loads of fun. A lot of piss take. Um, if your name's mentioned and you think we're taking the piss out of you, yeah, we probably are. But don't take offence to it, okay? It's only banter. Uh, we don't mean any. We don't, we're not setting out to go out and upset people. It's just, um, so, um, if you want to mention, um, mention, uh, talk to us on, on Facebook Live and we'll give you a shout out. If you want to ask us any questions, if you want to, uh, well, talk, if you just want to talk shit with us, then talk shit. Um, I got added into a a review from uh, a colleague's wife. My uh, colleague is called Marie Gator Waterhouse, or is it Marie Water? Yeah, I, th I think it's Marie Gator Waterhouse. And her wife, uh, Michaela, put me uh, tagged me in a review for eating a fat. Uh, Curry, fat chili curry. No, 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 no. I'm not stupid. I like my taste buds just the way they are. Thank you very much. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, I won't eat it. And I've, you can call me as pussy as much as you want. I know what's better for me. Um, that's all I can say about that chicken. I'm sorry it's a bit of a shit. It's a bit of shit one today. Um, it's one of those things I can't do a, a perfect review, I can't do a funny review every, every single time, um, things do go wrong, um, that's it really, um, so next week will be the battle of the Osha puddings, frozen to homemade, yes Phil I will teach you how to make a Yorkshire pudding. And everyone else who doesn't know and how to make them, because it's all in the air. The air around us, that's it. Um, it's how much air you get into the mixture and how you mix the mixture. That's the secret. A lot of people think it's how much air you do with a whisk and getting all the mixture in. It's not. It's how you put the mixture together. That's the secret. And that's what I'm going to show you. My little secret. Um, so that's it. Now, if you remember a few reviews ago, I was like this, trying to point out where things are. So that yellow thing up there, right? Oh, we'll start with a green thing, which is over there. Right, that's our medicine box. The two white things inside of it is foil and um, cling film holder. All you do is bring it out, close the lid, and it cuts it for you. Ingenious. Um, that yellow one up there is a sharks box. The black thing with the white tag up there, that's a phone case. No phone in it, obviously. Um, that thing there is bird seed and um, those fat balls. Um, down below that white thing is the deep fat fryer and that thing that looks like a cup holder is the kettle. And that's um, obviously cupboards. So at least now this time we're not going all over the fucking place trying to point out where, th where the steamer is and packet of crisps and what have you. I think it did quite well there, except for the green box. Um, so yes, thank you for watching. See you next week. I will do a better review next week. I'm just a bit disappointed with a pop. <coughs> I'm very disappointed with that. It's nice, nice and succulent, but it's not hot and spicy. Uh, maybe my palate's getting used to the heat now and I, and, and I don't think it's hot and spicy anymore. Um, that's hot and spicy. That's lovely. That's really nice, is that? Um, oh, just bother with me a minute. The 
If you remember, I did this, didn't I? The, oh shit. The Ghost Chili Review. Okay. Um, I don't want it. Okay. It's something going to get thrown away. And I don't want to throw it away because I don't like waste. If you want it, let us know. And you can have it. Put it in with your, your chilies. Put it in with your curries. Your, well, what are you you're going to make? Um, but it's a marinade and a dipping sauce. Dripping sauce. So, yeah, please. If, if you want it, let me know. And... Uh, no, no, Alan Simpson, no. I'm not posting it all the way over to fucking Haywood, Manchester. No. Anyone local, okay, you can have it. Also, on the 3rd of August, I have a surprise for somebody. I'm not saying who that somebody is, but uh, I do have a surprise for them. <coughs> I hope they like it. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I would if I were in their shoes. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. And see you next week. Bye.